A city developments achieved a record profit for the first half of the year. A strong property market and the hospitality sector recovery helped to boost profits to $1.1 billion. It reversed a $32.1 million net loss for the same period last year. CDL is offering shareholders an interim dividend of 12 cents per share. A divestment gains from the sale of Millennium Hilton Seoul have also helped drive the group's net profit. Deconsolidation of the CDL Hospitality Trusts also steered its performance. The developer's revenue increased by nearly a quarter to $1.5 billion. That's spurred by strong recovery in the hospitality sector as borders reopen. Its property portfolio sold more than 700 residential units so far this year, totaling $1.6 billion. And this accounted for more than 40% of its revenue. CDL is looking to expand its living sector portfolio globally to meet rising demand for the rental market. I wouldn't say that they are. Uh, they would replace our traditional business of uh, property development or uh, uh, asset management. Uh, in fact, it's a complement to it. I mean, uh, living sector is actually uh, uh, primarily comprised of recurring income assets, so that strengthens our investment properties, our IP segment. Uh, so, so you know, it's just like how I would allocate. Uh, we would allocate cash to buy new office properties in the UK and stuff. Right? This is no different.